There have been a few exciting developments in the world of gymnastics. China has won the 12th men's team title in the gymnastics world by a wide margin. The team made a comeback after a qualifying round disaster, and United States missed the medal this time around. So you must have a lot of questions. Well, don't worry because we've got all the answers. Stick around to find everything. First up, China wins the 12th men's team title in the gymnastics world championship. After putting together excellent rotations, China won its 12th world men's championship, and the fact that the team defeated their rival Japan in an intense battle makes this victory all that sweeter. The Chinese earned a total of 257.858 points, which is four points more than their opponents. Team Britain overcame their errors and ended in third place. The good news is that all three teams earned an automatic ticket to the 2024 Paris Olympics by ending up on the podium. During all this, the Chinese team was the only one who avoided fall-laden performances. Italy ended up coming in fourth place, while the U.S. came in last because of their weak performance during the first rotation, from which they never recovered. Moving on, China recovered from a disappointing qualifying round. The Chinese team included former world all-around champion Zhang Boheng, Olympic medalist Zhu Jingyuan, and Sun Wei, plus star athletes Yu Hu and Yang Jiajing, who had a disappointing qualifying round due to a string of blunders from the beginning. Going by their recent performance, you wouldn't believe they finished fourth after Japan, the UK, and the US. It was definitely an uphill battle from there, but the Asian powerhouses stood their ground in the finals after an error-filled performance. After a flawless showing on the vault and rings, Zhu Jingyuan established a solid lead. He was followed by the 2021 world champion Zhang Boheng, who finished first on the floor exercise routine, allowing the team to maintain their lead throughout the event to win gold. Following up, let's look at Zhang Boheng's comments and some other details. Boheng claimed that they performed much better than the qualification. They gained fantastic momentum and rhythm after one day of refreshing their brains and reflecting after the qualifiers. The team struggled a little bit with nerves on the first rotation especially on the pommel horse, which is tough to control in some ways. And, since Russia was banned from competing in the World Artistic Gymnastics Championships because of the ongoing conflict with Ukraine, there were a lot more opportunities for the other countries. After finishing the qualifiers with the most points, the Japanese team was a potential gold medal contender with the most points, but several errors cost them the title. They, however, still finished second with 253.395 points, over seven points less than they had in the qualification round. Coming up, Team China is back on top of the world. The Chinese men's artistic gymnastics team has reclaimed the global team title after displaying near-perfect displays of strength, balance, and composure. As previously stated, Japan and bronze medal winning host Britain qualified for Paris 2024 in the team event. Each country has a squad of five to rotate around all six apparatuses, pommel horse, still rings, parallel bars, horizontal bar, vault, and floor exercise. In the final session, only three gymnasts from each team compete on a given apparatus. All three scores are counted for the total result in a three-up, three-count format. China won five of the six disciplines. Powered by all-rounder Zhang Boheng's high-flying vault routine and reigning Olympic champion Zhu Jingyuan's masterclass on the parallel bars, Japan topped the floor standings if you're curious about the sixth discipline. Not to mention, the U.S. missed the gymnastics medal. The United States finished sixth, continuing their medal drought that began with a bronze medal in 2014. The team, which qualified third for the final, had significant mistakes on the pommel horse, high bar, and floor exercise, costing the team a medal. The Americans, who were fifth in Tokyo, are on their longest medal drought since failing to make the podium at every Olympics and Worlds between 1985 and 2000. Next, which six teams have earned a spot on the Olympics Games? Following a hectic day during the men's team final at the 2022 World Artistic Gymnastics Championships in Liverpool, the People's Republic of China, Japan, and the United Kingdom claimed tickets to the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. After a terrible qualifying round, China outperformed its opponents by over eight points. This was similar to their comeback at the 2012 Olympic Games in London, where they were the sixth best team in qualifying and went on to win the gold medal. So we're seeing a pattern over here. Italy, the US, and Spain have earned a spot in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Now, US gymnast Jade Carey and Brody Malone win gold medals. American gymnasts Jade Carey and Brody Malone ended their world championships with gold medals in the apparatus finals, highlighting the US team's excellent performance over the final two days of competition. The U.S. team won four medals during the event's final stage in Liverpool, England, and gold medals from Carey on the vault and Malone on the high bar. Shalise Jones, who won silver at nationals this summer, delivered a remarkable performance in her world championships debut. To go with her gold in the team competition, she won a silver in the all-around and another silver on bars. She had an excellent routine in the bars final, finishing second only to China's Wei Xiaoyuan and ahead of Olympic gold medalist Nina Derwall of Belgium. Jones had struggled with 
consistency in the past, but her flawless performances in Liverpool confirmed her place as one of the country's finest gymnasts. The U.S. team won four medals during the event's final stage in Liverpool and gold medals from Kerry on the vault and Malone on the high bar. Jordan Childs and Kerry both won two individual medals, adding to their team's gold, with Kerry taking gold on vault and Childs getting silver. Last summer, Kerry was expected to win an Olympic medal on this apparatus, but she slipped on the runway in the final and had to bail out of her tough vault. Let's learn that Jake Jarman held his nerve for Great Britain to secure bronze. It would have been reasonable to think that Great Britain's medal hopes were over after two rotations in the men's team final. Faced with a clear opportunity to win a medal, they melted down on the dreaded pommel horse, the apparatus that exposes nerves and crushes dreams. Even after hitting rock bottom at the second rotation, the team kept their cool and fought in a chaotic team final, returning to win a spectacular bronze medal. Things have fallen into place for Great Britain this season. Along with James Hall's and Courtney Tullock's experience, the team's youthful core has prospered. Joe Frazier, 23, and Gianni Regini Moran, 24, have established better consistency. Jake Jarman's rapid rise, as shown by his massive vault and floor scores, has proven helpful. They arrived here full of confidence after winning team gold medals at the Commonwealth Games and the European Championships, and they started pretty great on the floor. But the pommel horse, the deciding factor in men's gymnastics, was up next. The United States, which narrowly followed Great Britain in qualification, had its own nightmare opening. It offered the rest of the field an early opportunity, but GB lost it. Hall came off the horse at the end of his routine, wearing a 12.2 score. Although Jarman stayed, his minor errors were heavily penalized, and he received a score of 12.566. Finally, what are things we've learned for Paris 2024? The women of Team USA showed once again that they are a force to be reckoned with in the world of gymnastics, winning their sixth consecutive team gold medal with ease. Olympic floor champion Jade Carey, team silver medalist Jordan Childs, and 2021 world all-around silver medalist Leanne Wong led the team to win, along with world debutantes Shalise Jones and Sky Blakely. Also, the battle for women's team silver and bronze will be intense. This is because the women's team final in Liverpool saw a close battle for second and third place behind the dominant Americans. In the end, Great Britain and Canada topped the podium, but several teams were only a few routines away from medals. Take Japan, for example. They were almost certain of bronze until their final competitor on the uneven bars fell off twice. Italy also battled with consistency, with team leader Martina Maggio failing unexpectedly on their opening rotation on the uneven bars. Brazil finished fourth due to an injury to two-time Olympian Flavia Sareva in the qualifying stage, which limited her to only the uneven bars in the team final. The women's team event has a bright and fascinating future as the 2024 Olympics approach, and Rebecca Andrade just keeps on getting better. The 23-year-old had established herself as the world's greatest female gymnast before the competition and excelled when it mattered most. It's her latest achievement, following her win of Brazil's first women's Olympic gymnastics gold medal last year in Tokyo 2020. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on China winning the 12th men's gymnastics team title? Let us know in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.